Today we're opening the first legendary collection versus the fourth legendary collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we have the first and the fourth legendary collections as I mentioned. We have not opened this one in a while. Pretty excited to open that one, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Genesis Impact first edition booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments who you think will win, the first legendary collection or the fourth. All right guys, let's hop right into this. Let's do legendary collection Joey's World first because we do have the potential of LOB packs and well, we're gonna get an LOB pack, but like blue eyes pulls and stuff like that in the other one. So let's start off here. This is a pretty awesome collection though as you guys have seen many a time we have opened this versus another legendary collection and joey's world is usually pretty successful at like winning these things so let's see if we can pull some amazing secret rares this time as well all right inside we get our promos as usual the blue flame swordsman very very cool looks awesome i think there's five packs in this one so pretty cool because like the Kaiba one only has three, so it's not as many to open. So five packs, pretty exciting. First pack of Legendary Collection 4. Can they beat the original Legendary Collection with all those old school packs inside? We're about to find out this is not opening very well. There we go. Can we pull something amazing? We have, oh, a Twin Barrel Dragon right off the bat. That's pretty cool. There's some pretty good commons in here, I think, as well. Might be Yugi's World that they're really good. Guilford, we got Relieve Monster. This is a secret rare in Retro Pack 1. I know, that's insane. By the way, I have one for sale on TCG Player if you're interested. All right, Twin Barrel Dragon, very nice. Metal Zoa, very cool. A Juragumo, pretty awesome. Oh, oh, we were actually special at it. What is it back there? So we have Red Eyes, Zombie Dragon. What is this next one? The Gates of the Dark World, very cool. I think that actually has a little bit of value. Next one, is it going to be a super rare? Oh, no, it's the Secret Rare Book of Moon. Okay, this is a pretty nice version if you don't want to go all in on the CP version or something like an ultimate rare. You can get this secret rare version a lot cheaper. And then Baby Dragon, also another pretty good pull, a super rare version. That's actually pretty sick. That's a good start to the first pack. Legendary Collection for Joey's World. Let's see if we can get any of those Joey text cards, if you know what I mean, like where it's his text. The text is in his voice, I should say. Which, which I don't. If you don't know what I mean, you'll see. If we can find it, that would be great. So we have, uh, oh, maybe this was, a, yeah. All right, so we got the Anthrosaurus. This man like dinosaur has got a high IQ, even though he's lacking in the strength department. Kind of like you, as if you had a high IQ. Nah. All right, let's see. That's not, maybe, maybe it was all right. Okay. Hyper Hammerhead. So as, if you see that, it's in his accent, which is pretty hilarious. The Legendary Fisherman. Pretty awesome. Labyrinth Walls. A pretty epic card from the anime. Always really cool to see that one. The Jinzo. Very cool. Gravekeeper Stele, so another Gravekeeper card, pretty cool. No, wait, no, that was that was Dark World last time. All right, what's this one? Mystical Space Typhoon Secret Rare. That's an amazing printing of this, and an Elegant Egotist, and then a Fiber Jar is a common. Wait, does that have value? I don't remember that being in here. That's actually pretty sick. This seems like a pretty decent start for Joey's World. So far, some pretty amazing pulls. Let's see what pack number three can do. We're only 40% into the opening of the Joey's World, so okay, that opened like crazy. Sorry, Pack. We didn't mean to destroy you like that, but that's just how it goes. Fiber Jar being a common is actually pretty sick. Black Pendulum. Pend pendant. That's Pendulum is not, not what we're talking about. Gear Free. The Iron Knight. Oh, here we go. Is it another one? This big old guy with the big old eye shoots a nasty ray beam right at you. <laughs> Mio Toko. I don't remember him ever using this. It also has like a flat top, which is pretty funny. Beast of Talwar. Pretty awesome. Beige Vanguard of Dark World. There's another Dark World card. Okay. And Sabersaurus. If you're going to play those vanilla dinos, this is classic uh, Dino Rabbit strats right here. And then a Super Rejuvenation. Pretty cool uh, version when that actually went up for about five seconds. And Serpent Night Dragon is a common. It's pretty cool as well. Two more packs until we get into the original Legendary Collection. All right. Uh-oh. We get another one. We get another Joey. We got the Sword Slasher. All right. No, it's not. That's not a Joey card, actually. Unfortunately, we got a Barrel Dragon. We got the Malevolent Mech Goku in. I don't remember that card from this set. Sword Slasher just looks like it because it's a vanilla, but it's also just an old school card. Dice Reroll for Joey. Very nice. He gets a reroll, which he doesn't ever need because he just rolls and gets it every time. <laughs> Vampire Lord. Legenzo yet again as a rare. What can we get as the Ultra? Monster Reborn. Okay, Ultra Rare. We're pulling some pretty nice stuff out of here. Okay, what's the secret rare going to be? So far, two for two on good ones. Let's see what this one is. No, two for three. Oh, a scapegoat. Wow, another good one and another super rejuvenation. Okay, 
Scapegoat, that's a big hit. So we're pulling a lot of nice DM old school cards in Secret Rare version. This is a very nice legendary collection so far. I'd say it's doing pretty well. Now we have one more pack and then we get into the original legendary collection. Let's do this. Fairy Meteor Crush. The Premature Burial, just a common, very nice. Hinotama, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Very useful, people use that all the time. The Skull Stalker, all right. Fo <laughs> Foist, he's gonna grab your monster with his claws. Then again, <laughs> then I, <laughs> I can't even do this. Then attack against with his poison stinger. <laughs> then attack again with his poison stinger. Foist, he's gonna grab your monster. Foist! Alright, I love it. Lesser Fiend. Alright, Brawn, Mad King of Dark World. I'm laughing way too much in this episode. Very nice. What's the secret rare gonna be? Oh, trap. Could it be Solemn Judgment? Oh, a Torrential! That might be even be better. Okay. Torrential Tribute Secret Rare. This might be one of the best Joey's World we've ever opened. Overpowering Eye and Harpy Lady. Let's just look at these real quick. Alright, all in one. Monster Reborn, Book of Moon Secret Rare, Mystical Space Cypher Secret Rare, Scapegoat Secret Rare, and Torrential Tribute Secret Rare. One box. That's gonna be tough to beat. Alright guys, next up, the original Legendary Collection. Taking on an extremely difficult task right now. After that insane, like just insane pulls right there. Especially Nostalgia version, like... Crazy good. Let's see what we can get from the legend, the original <laughs> legendary collection. That's what I'm trying to say. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. Okay. Inside, we get our five packs. Very nice. Or our six packs, sorry. Plus we get this pack of promos, which is all of the cards in the mystery graded box. They're all from this pack of promos. Every single one you can get is in this pack. So, uh, yeah, not exactly the best mystery rated box. Now we have six packs. So there is a pack advantage here. Where there's one extra pack. So will that help? They're going to need all the help they can get. Because right now, the first one is insane. Like, Legendary Collection Joey's World was insane. Let's see if we can do anything to at least battle it. A skill drain would be huge. It would go a long way here. Just a regular rare. We got Ultra for Tribute, Guardian Elma, Mustering of Dark Scorpions, The Archfiend's Roar. Pandemonium Watchbearer. Will this Dark Crisis provide us with something amazing? Gaku Guy or Panda. The Dark Bishop Archfiend. And the cat Ko Tatsu. There's no skill drain yet. Okay. Yeah, not the best start. What are we going to go with next? I think Spell Ruler. Spell Ruler. We need some luck here, guys. We need to pull something amazing. Because right now, they're way far behind. They're going to need a huge pull. There's a lot of potential in these old packs, though. Octoburser or Octoburser, whatever, you know. If you'd like the monthly version, then there you go. Performance of Sword, we got the Slot Machine, the Weather Report. Hungry Burger. Whiptail Crow, very nice. The Reliable Guardian. Karate Man, and... Toon World Super Rare. There we go. There's a hit. Something pretty decent, a Toon World Super Rare. It goes well with all those DM staples that they pulled I don't know if it's enough to actually win it. It's definitely not. Let's say, let's go Invasion of Chaos now, I think. Can we get that big secret rare? Can we get that Black Lizard Soldier Ultra Rare? That would be cool as well. Any of those are very helpful. Griffin's Feather Duster. Too bad it's not Harpy's Feather Duster. The Big Koala. Manju of the 10,000 Hands. There we go. It got another, like, two reprints recently, but still has some value. Ojama Black. We got the Stealth Bird. Soul Tigre. Primal Seed. The Robin Zombie, and here we go. Will it be something epic? The Inferno. So no, it won't be. Three packs to go. Pharaoh's Servant. Let's go. Come on, Pharaoh's Servant. Let's pull something amazing. Genzo. It's been a while since we pulled the Genzo. Deep Sea Warrior. The Kisitai. Drill Bug. Gambling. He's gambling. Kind of like we are with children's cards. Here we go. Earthshaker. Gradius, very nice. A high-performance jet fighter with power capsules for variable attack capabilities. Very nice. Cold wave, good card. Shift, all right. Will this shift in our favor when we pull an epic card? Here we go. Eye of Truth, and the Eye of Truth says no. You're going to lose. <laughs> no! Two packs to go. We're saving Metal Raiders for the end. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Will it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Dark Magician. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Exodia. All those cards would be insane. Here we go. We need any of them to come back. Still Ogre Grotto number one. The Fire Grass. He's grass and he's also fire. Doesn't work in Pokemon. We got the Ray and Temperature. Sandstone. Umi. Urabi. Forest. 
Arminja. Okay, that's the rare. And final card. Will this be it? Uh-oh. Monster Reborn! So not only do we pull Ultra Rare Monster Reborn in Joey's World, but we pull Monster Reborn in Legend of Blue Eyes. Okay, so this one's first edition, but this one also came out like 15 years later. So this one is still cooler. Unlimited Legend of Unlimited. Unlimited Legend of Blue Eyes. Monster Reborn. That's actually a sick card. Wow. Okay. That's a great pull. So that means Metal Raiders, you have a chance. You got a shot to win this. Pull something amazing. You know what's a really good card out of here now? Change of Heart. <laughs> it is now worth a ton of money. So if we could pull Change of Heart out of here, it would be insane. Let's go. Whew. Let's do this. It's probably, probably the most expensive card in here now. Let's go. Ancient Brain. Feel the pain. Ancient Brain. Feel the pain. All right. Protector of the Throne. King of Yummy Makai. Thunder Dragon. That's worth a little bit of money. Okay. That's something. So we're pulling decent out of these old packs, actually. The big guy. The German Infection. I'm not going to mention any names. Water Amotic. All right. It's got a shirt on. Very nice. Cannon Soldier. That's just a regular rare. After this card is where we find out who will win the battle. Will it be Change of Heart? Will it be a secret rare gate guarding? Will it be Summon Skull? Will it be Beast Skull Dragon? Let's go. Ah, oh, it's just the little swordsman of ale. So it looks like it's probably going to be the newer one, but at this point, pretty good legendary collections. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike, Nance, Mimic Gecko, Drax Dream, Moose, Junior Barding, and then the Tai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.